In this video, we are going to learn about boundary fill and measuring the volume of a body. We have a right angle pipe here. Suppose that we want to find out the internal volume of water bounded by these two surfaces. Go to create boundary fill. For tools, select the two surfaces and the pipe body. Upon selection, you can see that the body turns transparent. Click on the select box besides the option select cells. The pipe body has been split into various sections by the two surfaces and we now have to select the volume that we need by checking the appropriate box. As you hover over the check boxes, the corresponding volumes turn to a slightly lighter shade of green. Unfortunately, the color changes are so subtle that it is almost impossible to identify the correct volume. In this case, we can actually directly click on the volume. If we click directly on the outside of the pipe, we would actually select the portion of the pipe that has been split. Click on the body again to unselect. The typical method of selecting true bodies by a long left click on the mouse does not work here. Let's orientate the pipe until we can see the water so to speak. And we can select the exposed surface of the water. You can see that the appropriate check mark has been selected. We want the water body to be created as a new body, so select new body for operation. If you only want the water body to remain, check on the option to remove tools. In this case, I want to keep all the bodies. Click OK. By selecting the water body in the browser, you can see that the body of water has been created correctly. In order to find out the volume of the water body, right-click on the water body and select Properties. 